This uh, color is the Prisma Color French Gray, and uh, but before this, I used the uh, Sepia Brown for blocking in the shadows. And the second layer should be the French Gray. Although this is a French Gray, it looks a bit greenish. Building your shadows is the most important thing uh, to do first before you add uh, more colors because uh, if you weren't able to build yung, the, the shadows, uh, the portrait will not be, will not look like three-dimensional. Kaya importante yung ma-build mo talaga yung shadow. That's why I really take uh, more time in building my shadows more than the actual coloring of the skin tone. Pero dapat light lang, ha? light lang yung ano, yung uh, pag-layer. Kasi kapag na-flatten natin yung tooth ng paper ng maaga, baka hindi na tayo tanggapin, hindi na tanggapin ng paper yung ano, yung uh, iba pang uh, layers na ilalagay natin. Hello, um, uh, Alex Lima. Boom, she said, boom, dia. He and he is from Brazil. Wow, hello, thank you uh, for watching me over there in uh, Brazil. Hello, uh, Javi Jav. Uh, greetings from Chicago. Hello, Javi Jav, all the way from Chicago.
Again, this is the French clay. Sabi ni uh, Vincent de Guzman, hello, pwede po ba pa-help? Nakabili kasi ako ng Prismo Color Online and gusto ko sana malaman kung fake ba o hindi. Nako, eh, medyo mahirap uh, malaman kung hindi mo talaga siya susubukan gamitin. Uh, Try mo muna, no? try mo muna kung malilay, uh, gumamit ka ng medyo ng paper na may tooth o yung may konting texture. I-try mo kung uh, ng mga tatlo o apat na layers, kung uh, magsasama-sama siya. Try mo i-blend using yung white pencil. Uh, tignan mo kung hindi siya, anong tawag doon, yung magbubutil-butil. Kasi pag nagbutil-butil yung yung lumabas din hindi siya pumapasok doon sa tooth ng paper uh, may, at hindi siya na-blend ng yung hindi, hindi na may mix yung kulay katulad ng ganito na talagang fully mixed and burnished malamang fake nga siya at saka marami kasi mar maraming ano maraming kang pwedeng makita kung fake unang-una sa ano kasi sa physical niya medyo mahirap malaman eh, kung fake or hindi malalaman mo lang talaga doon sa intensity ng kulay at saka sa blendability niya. Keith J. Crider, I'm doing just as you do shading first. I like that. This is nothing like oil painting. Very nice to learn new mediums, uh, the new BMD. Ah, okay. So you you are you were using oil before, and now you're uh, trying to learn colored pencils. That's good. That's really nice. Although it's a little bit, or it's a whole lot different experience. Uh, tanong ni Vincent de Guzman salamat po ano pong may recommend yung paper for beginners uh, since gumagamit ka ng prisma na which is hindi naman na pang beginner pero kung balak mo talagang mag practice using uh, prisma color uh, at hindi mo pa naman actually pinakamura sa artist quality papers ha? sa artist quality kung gusto mo talagang artist quality na nabagay sa prisma Uh, pinakamura na yung Strathmore Bristol 300 series is smooth surface. Uh, smooth surface siya pero may tooth pa din yun. Pero kung hindi pa rin ma-afford yung 300 series ng Strathmore na pinakamura, ang masasuggest ko, try mo yung uh, kumuha ng mga per piece lang muna na white na Canson Mitientes or Canson CA Grain. Uh, kung gusto mo pa rin yung mas mura, pwede ka rin mag-try nung uh, anong pangalan nito? Uh, Fabriano Mixed Media. 
na paper kasi yon na uh, okay din yung texture niya at medyo makapal din. Bagay din siya for prisma color. So dito sa nose, dalawang layers pa lang yung nagagamit. Dalawang pencils pa lang yung nagagamit ko. Yung pinaka-dark kanina is the sepia and now I'm using the French gray bago ko gumamit ng mga medyo may kulay na. Ini-establish ko muna yung ano, the, the dark shadows. Sabi ni Vincent Di Guzman, thank you beginner pa lang ako. Pangarap ko lang na magka-prisma pero mukhang fake na bili ko based sa napapanood ko sa YT. Ganun pa man, uh, try, ano na rin, i-gamitin mo na rin siya. Maganda na rin pang practice kasi sayang naman kung hindi mo siya gagamitin. If fake nga talaga, if you, kung talaga sigurado ka na nag-fake, pero ano, gamitin mo lang. Mary, Mary Vic Pimentel. I'm from Dominican Republic. Mary Vic Pimentel. Are you Filipino or native of uh, Dominican Republic?
Wow, hello all the way from Dominican Republic. That is so far from here in the Philippines. Vincent D. Guzman, meron po ba kayong FB na nagpo-post kayo ng artwork uh, ng artwork po ninyo? Actually, hindi na ako nagpo-post sa FB. Uh, sa ano na ako na ngayon. Uh, meron akong FB page, pero uh, karaniwan mga reels, mga reels lang na konti lang na upload ko. Pero meron akong TikTok, BMD Portraits din, tapos meron akong Uh, Instagram. Doon ako sa, in sa IG na post ng ilang mga artwork. So, you can check my TikTok and my IG. Same name lang naman. At, at BMD Portraits lang. Marivic Pimentel, I speak a little English. Same, same here. I also speak... Uh, Um, a little bit of English. Uh, yes, so so far from you. Yeah, and uh, I'm just wondering, what do you, what the uh, the native of Dominican Republic? How are you being called as people? Because like here in the Philippines, we are Filipinos. How about in Dominican Republic? Are you Dominicans? So I'm I'm asking. I think I'm almost uh, done with this French gray and I can proceed to the next layer, the next color, the third color. So the first one was sepia. It is for the, uh, the very dark uh, shadows. And then I added this French gray over the, the sepia to make it look fuller and more. The shadows will be fuller and uh, Yeah, I think now I can proceed with my uh, third color, which is the lavender. So uh, I'm showing you right now how I exactly copy the color of the skin tone. Uh, I may not fully 100% get the correct skin tone but for as long as i was able to build the shadows i'm i'm okay with that and i can adjust later on whatever i needed to put to be able to get as close as possible with uh, my reference photo lavender Mary, Mary Vic Pimentel, beautiful work. I'm in Latin America, yeah, Dominican Republic.
it would be good to write the colors of the prisma that uh, one you can combine to achieve the skin tone that you are giving. I'm just uh, mentioning that each, each color, the first one that I used right here is the sepia brown. The second one is the French gray, and this one is only the third pencil that I use. This is lavender. Mema H H. I draw like you, but I have little patience. I can't paint and rush to the results. Even the longest drawing time was six hours. How do you do that? Well, um, like what you say, you said uh, patience is really the key with colored pencil, with realism uh, using colored pencils. Uh, you mentioned it, that is really the, the secret. Uh, big, uh, you can try looser style or the not very realistic, like semi. There are uh, artists who use colored pencils using, uh, doing um, uh, not very realistic. It's, uh, I think semi-realistic is a little bit quicker because you are not too concerned with details, but... Uh, I, I, for example, I am a, a realist. I love realism with colored pencils. I even sometimes try hyper-realism. Uh, and it requires really lots and lots of time and patience.
I'm literally doing uh, the code slowly but surely. Yes, Jake Ryder, again, I'm impressed with your work and I thank you for sharing it. So everyone, thank you. You're welcome, uh, Keith, and uh, thank you also. Thank you for uh, the support to my channel.
now I will proceed with uh, my fourth. This is the third pencil, my fourth color, which is the clay rose. Now I have a shorter clay rose, so I'm going to maximize this uh, shorter clay rose here. This is what I call my mid-tone pencil. Because as you can see here, uh, this basically is the darker shadow pencils. The, the first three pencils, now this is, I think it's going to build the mid-tone. And uh, yeah, and uh, I think it's going to be the blender as well for the dark shadows. Clay Rose. So uh, at this stage, I'm not yet uh, putting pressure or heavy pressure uh, because I'm still on the layering process. Because if I uh, put pressure, I might flatten the tooth of the paper already and uh, I don't want that because uh, flattened paper wouldn't accept any more layers so uh, just layer very gently by the way the paper that I'm using here is the Strathmore Bristol 300 series is smooth surface. Mema HH, I am one of your Arab followers, specifically Saudi Arabia. Wow, I cannot comment to write you at length and despite the language difference between us. I enjoy watching your videos and watching your wonderful artistic touches. You have an artistic sense and great accuracy. I always try to keep up with you in drawing. Wow, that's really nice. Thank you for that. I, I, I love... Uh, to hear that from, especially from other countries. But certainly, but I certainly reach half of your skill. I am proud that you are one of the greatest artists I have seen. Wow, that's so nice. That's so nice, Mema HH. It's very nice of you. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Leonardo Santos. Hello, I'm from Brazil. Amazon works. 
amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Leo, Leonardo Santos uh, from Brazil. Uh, what else? BTS underscore VR, V Army J7, amazing. Thank you so much from India. Hello from uh, India. I have a lot of subscribers from India and I'm so happy that uh, Indians uh, appreciate my works and my channel. So uh, I, I repeat, this is the clay rose. Uh, this is actually the mid-tone colored pencil here on this particular drawing because after this, I'm going to be a little bit lighter already. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting close to the burnishing part or the blending part, but uh, uh, for now, I'm still trying to... make sure that the mid-tone is fully layered.
Nick, hello from Germany. Hello, Nick, all the way from Germany. That's so far. BTS underscore VRBJ7 sir, where are you from? Um, I am from the Philippines.
Um, there's a question from Nick. Is it hard to switch from pencil drawings to colored pencils? In my case, not really. Uh, I'm surprised because I was also a little bit apprehensive when because I started with graphite and charcoal and uh, uh, the the colored pencil came later in my life and uh, I had no I had really no like difficult adjustments. I haven't experienced it. Uh, Although I had to learn a lot of things, but it's surprisingly to me, it's not very difficult. It's, it's the challenge is nice and uh, the learnings and everything that the experience of learning colored pencils is really great. And I think uh, the, the black and white medium would be a big factor. That's why it's going to be not easy, but uh, it's going to be enjoyable to transition from black and white to colored pencils. In my experience, it was not hard. It was rather enjoyable, surprisingly. I, I enjoyed that transition. Adash. How to draw like you, like everyone else, practice, 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 practice. That's that's the, the only secret is practice. And uh, of course, you have to study the medium, the particular medium. Uh, there, there, there are lots of uh, uh, tutorials on YouTube and lots and lots of practice. That is just the secret. So I'm still with the clay rose, but uh, I'm almost done with this color. And I'm going to use uh, the next color after this. This is, again, this is the clay rose, my mid-tone pencil for this drawing. Now I can proceed with my next color. This is the dark flesh.
Nick, what did you start drawing which directly with portraits or animes or something? Um, I, I always, well, I started with the uh, portrait, practicing portraits. That's my forte, I guess, from the very beginning. But I uh, also tried to draw landscapes and I also tried to do ad other mediums like oil, like acrylic, like watercolor. But I, I always comes back with pencil portraiture, which I think is where where I decided to to um what do you call this not to become an expert but uh, where I decided to focus my attention on and uh, yeah I'm here Alexander main event hello from Romania wow that's another far far away country Romania is that Europe, yeah, I guess it's Europe. Hello, um, Alexander from Romania. I want to add a little bit of blush using this nice pink color, but not uh, too much pink. I just want to uh, put a little bit blush on some parts of the nose. Is J. Crider, you said use vellum paper, don't like it too much. White shows through. You mean, uh, do you mean vellum surface? Uh, if you are referring to the Strathmore vellum surface, um, I love using that paper. Uh, especially you with the uh, polychromos, and uh, in my experience, yeah, there there are a little bits of uh, what you call this the white, but but if you burnish it properly, you can get rid of that as well. But I I understand that uh, the vellum surface has so much tooth to work on and. You can uh, spend lots and lots of pencils to be able to burnish and to blend everything together. I love using vellum surface when there are, when it is uh, the reference photo has uh, lots and lots of dark shadows on it, and you want to make it a full skin tone. So that's why I I, I uh, encourage people to use vellum surface when in that case, but. For this kind of drawings, using wax-based, using Prismacolor and light, the skin tone is significantly lighter compared to, and there has no, you know, dark, overly dark shadows on it, and it's just nice, uh, fair, fine skin tone, then uh, I don't suggest the vellum surface with this kind of drawing. Uh, I suggest a smooth surface. Alexander main event, I just started a new 
Um, I, I knew drawing because of you. Wow. That's very nice to hear, uh, Alexander. Gurab Art. Hi. Hello, Gurab Art. Good up, Art. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Ah, Richard Abilanio, may mga grupo ka rin ba na mga artist sir sa inyong lugar? Sadly, wala. And I can't remember joining uh, parang physical art group because I was even up to now i just learned here in youtube but i was um a loner i love to just draw by myself when i was younger i was so shy to na, na ipakita yung drawing ko sa ibang tao Pero sa online naman, sa Facebook, uh, yun, na lang, yun na lang yung parang, ano ko, naging parang group. Yung mga guhit pinas, ganyan. Uh, Keith J. Crider. So, in other words, Prisma is better on smooth surface, sometimes more than police. Basically, yes, yes. Uh, wax based are better on smooth surface, and the oil based are a lot better on vellum surface. Sabi ni Richard Abilanyo, ako rin sir, wala akong kagrupo pero marami akong kakilala sa amin. Akala ko, marami ako kakilala sa amin. Akala ko meron siya.
So I think that's it for tonight, guys. See you next time because uh, I'm so tired already uh, because uh, I've been doing a lot of things lately and uh, I feel very sleepy. It's uh, 11 o'clock in, in the evening here in the Philippines. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you can see you on my next live. Thank you. I really appreciate the time that you spent with me on this live drawing. See you next time. We will continue uh, doing this on a live session. So thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone here in uh, sending love here in the Philippines. Thank you for supporting my channel, BMD Portraits. Bye-bye.